Fueled by Deathcast. Like Boston support of the band, I, I always say it's like we had good support in the, in the city. Not so much coming from the sports teams back down as from even in the beginning. We were starting out where we just grew up there, knew a lot of people, and it was that homegrown support where. Yeah. It's it's uh, six degrees of separation to probably everyone in the city of Boston, whether they were a relative or a friend. Or yeah. Up with somebody. So there was that kind of like, you know, not like a band that went to college there and said, oh, yeah, we're from Boston. You know what I mean? Like we, we actually, you know, had roots and knew people. And and um, and then the sports things were really just they were really sometimes people were like, oh, yeah, you did that as a marketing thing. And I'm like, well, if we did. It would have been a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> but sadly, I did it because I love the fucking team. Right, you know? right. And, and there would be nothing wrong with doing it as a marketing thing. But, like, you know, we wrote the song Time to Go about the Bruins. And that was just, the song was just about my experience of how, you know, as a teenager, early teens, when you get to, get to that age where you're going to Bruins games on your own with your friends, taking the subway to the game and that coming up onto Causeway Street and, what the old Causeway Street used to be like and that excitement of like, I'm going to a Bruins game, you know? And it was like about being a fan, you know? Yeah. And that song kind of got, you know, not like over the top accepted by the Bruins, but they would play it. And and that was like kind of our first connection to sports. And then the Red Sox, obviously, uh, when they asked us to remake the song Tessie and, you know, you know, so they approached you. They approached us wow. and they said, uh, we want you to redo this old song. And I said, send me the song. And then uh, I said, oh, we're in. Send me the song. And then they sent me the song and I said, we're out. Oh, we're out. <laughs> because it was just a horrible song. It was a Broadway song. It was a woman singing to about how she tells all her secrets to her parrot. Hmm. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, but but it was popular at the time. So what the Red Sox Royal Rooters fans would do is take that song and change the names to make it about like ragging on the other pitches and stuff yeah. you know so we took the melody kept the melody and changed you know a bunch of the wor words to be about the history of the of uh the time frame us and i'm um, a great sports writer for the herald um jeff horrigan who who knew a lot of the names and facts from the early 1900s i'm a i'm a big red sox fan but i don't i don't really go back to the night you know right, right. i knew about the ruth trade and all yeah. of that but you know um and really, that connection happened more because of the fact that they won, that that became so big. I mean, I have one of my proudest things of everything we've done in the band is July of 2004, I have a Boston Herald article framed on my wall about when we released the song Tessie, and I said, I guarantee a World Series. Yes. And I, and I, and I meant it. Yes. You know what I mean? And I, I meant right. it. I was talking out my ass because I was like, I, I mean it. I feel it. Right. Yeah. I'm going to say it. <laughs> and then if we don't win, everyone will forget. But no, but I really, I don't know. I felt it. You know what yeah. I mean? And um, and so when we won, you know, that was, you know, that kind of. And then and then I always say we've only been asked back two other years and by the Red Sox to perform on the field yeah. in the playoffs. And that was. 2007 and 2013 and those are the two other uh world series in this yeah. you know century so um we're three for three yeah and um yeah. i don't think i don't think we'll go again i think we'll just say uh, <laughs> you know, it's like uh, uh we did we'll, it yeah we'll stay back you know? don't hit